say in the first week we discussed four chapters fourth chapter incomplete just recap first chapter what is first chapter overview on test automation see in the last week overview on test automation see in this chapter we discussed four four topics can you recollect gagan first chapter theory chapter overview on test automation we discussed four topics kamal the first week first day saturday we discussed overview on test automation aarti respond uh, and advantage ah. of uh, selenium disadvantage of selenium no 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 this is overview on test automation chapter general chapter oh, oh okay so in this chapter we discussed advantages of manual testing Yeah, yeah. Advantages, advantages and disadvantages of manual testing. Disadvantages, disadvantages of manual testing. Next, second topic. Advantages and disadvantages of automation. test automation. Test automation. Ah, uh, next. gagan third topic in first chapter types of test tools next automation testing life cycle methodology atlc atlc automation test life cycle <coughs> i think at atlm automation uh, test life cycle methodology test life cycle methodology see this is first chapter next aarti second chapter in our training program second chapter overview on selenium yes overview on selenium see overview on <coughs> selenium See in this chapter we discussed uh, uh, nearly eleven topics. First one, introducing introducing Selenium tool, Selenium. Next, history of history of the Selenium project. Put mute history history of the. selenium project next selenium license selenium license next selenium suite of tools selenium suite of tools ide rc web driver selenium grid next advantages advantages of selenium next put mute disadvantages disadvantages of selenium next 
selenium versus uft market competitor selenium versus uft next hmm. continue gagan selenium versus uft next anything else in this chapter java for selenium java for selenium that is another chapter don't confuse another chapter say <clears throat> choose uh, frameworks frameworks used in selenium frameworks used in selenium next choose selenium tools next configure configure selenium etc next third chapter selenium test process or selenium life cycle selenium test process uh, what we discussed in this chapter uh tell me mahmud kamal selenium test process here we discussed phases of selenium test process phases of selenium test process test planning next generating basic tests next enhancing enhancing tests next running and debugging tests running means execution running and debugging tests next analyzing results analyzing test results and reporting defects all are three theory chapters only next fourth chapter arthi fourth chapter fourth chapter incomplete tell me what what is the fourth chapter in our training gagan ja java ah. for selenium java for selenium see first we are discussing road map summary java for selenium java for selenium see in this chapter we discussed four general topics why why java why java for selenium next how java how much java is required yes, for selenium how much, yes how much java is required for selenium test automation next overview on java yes overview on java programming language next next java environment setup yes java environment setup only theory practical i will show today java environment setup see these are four general topics next we discussed learning objectives uh, 
Java summary, Java concepts for Selenium. Here, uh, continue again what we discussed, what Java concepts required for Selenium test automation. Uh, Java syntax. Okay, see first comments, comments, next data, type. data types, variables, yes, variables, modifiers, yes, access modifiers, modifiers, next, Operator? Yes, operators. Operators. Next. Conditional statements. <coughs> Conditional. This is only roadmap for our program. Later we will discuss each and every uh, topic in detailed manner with examples. Conditional statements. Next loop statements see up to this one next continuation eight and one more thing say <coughs> for our selenium test automation core java is enough advanced java not required server side programming network programming not required core java enough Okay, I segregated uh, core Java into two categories. First category, Java basics. See, first category, Java basics. <coughs> Second category, Java object oriented programming. Okay, first category also not completed, eighth one. Next, what we have to learn? Arrays. Arrays. See, array also general topic. You can find arrays in all programming languages and uh, scripting languages. What is array? Have any idea, Gur Simran? Array. What is array? See, generally, array is a collection of similar type of elements. See, array is a collection, collection of similar type, similar type of elements. See. Just only introduction. Similar type means same data type. Next in, J in Java, array is an object. See in Java everything is object. In Java, array is an object that contains elements of similar data types. See, in Java, array, in Java, Array is an object. Array is an object. What is object? We will discuss later. Array is an object that contains that contains similar type of elements. That contains similar type. Similar type of elements. Next, Java array is index based. Uh, in VB script also array index based. See, Java array is index based. See here two things, index value index starts from rt index starts from 
Zero. Good. Zero. Index starts from zero. Zero to n minus one. See first value zero, last value n minus one. Suppose uh, ten elements in our array. First element index zero, last element index ten minus one nine. See each item in array is called element. Here what are the important topics? Declaration of arrays. Declaration of arrays. Next. Advantages and disadvantages of arrays. Disadvantages of arrays. See declaration declaration of arrays. Next. Assigning. Assigning values. Next. Advantages and disadvantages. See, these are the important topics in this arrays. See. Next, important one, methods. Java methods. What is, what is method? Any idea, Gagan? What is method in computer programming? No idea, sir. No idea. Aarti, what is method? Function, I believe function. Ah, yes, yes, function. See, in structured programming, like C language, we call functions. Functions, subroutines, reusable components. But in object-oriented programming, methods. See, methods are also known as Procedures are functions. See, in structured programming language, C language, we call functions, subroutines, terms. Here, methods. See. Methods. Method means an operation. Methods are also known as procedures. What is the difference between procedure and function that we will discuss in practical chapter? <clears throat> Methods are also known as procedures or functions. Functions. What is the purpose of a function? Mahmad Kamal. What, what is the purpose of functions in computer programming? Here you can use a Functions, methods as synonyms. To do uh, tasks. To do tasks. Task or tasks. Ah, to do tasks, you can write program, na? Yeah, we can write program also. Program also. Then why functions are methods? For code reusability. Oh, code reusability. See, primary purpose of functions is code reusability. Whenever you want to perform same task again and again, whenever you want to perform same operations multiple times in your project, you prefer methods or functions. Okay. See, basically, <coughs> you take any programming language or scripting language, functions or methods, two types. See, in our Java also, there are two types, two types of methods, two categories of methods. Suppose C language, take C language, two types of functions, function, reusable component, method also reusable component. In structured programming, we use function term. In object-oriented programming, we use method. But VB script is not structured programming language or object-oriented programming language. VB script is object-based language. 
there we call function method two different but in uh, structured programming we call reusable components as functions in object oriented programming we call reusable components as methods say in c language in c language c language is structured structured programming language no object concept no method concept in c language we call reusable reusable components as functions functions next in java in java language java is what type of language oops object oriented programming system object oriented here everything is object uh, in uh, java object oriented programming here we call reusable components as as simran gur simran as follow gur simran ha huh? methods methods try to follow if you have any queries ask me don't follow blindly okay <coughs> say in c language also functions two types why i am uh, indicating that c language java also derived from c language c 1972 42 years old java 1995 20 years old <coughs> okay in c language also we have two types of functions one is built in functions another is user defined functions again built in again in built in functions some categories of built in functions again in user defined functions two categories one is procedure uh, function one is function another one is subroutine function returns a value uh, subroutine doesn't return any value that is the only difference okay forget about c language in our java language also there are two types of methods nothing but reusable components can you guess mahmud can you guess two types of methods in java programming built in methods it's a built in function built in method and user defined method ah here don't use function term it is object oriented programming use method, method. it is a, a synonym it is a equal equal to method okay built in methods next user defined we can define our own methods for our project use built in methods for common use built in methods see i will show one small see anyhow user defined method names local you can use your own names you can use x y z r mohammad kamal any name but try to use meaningful names but built in fun, built in method names standard fixed okay i will show one uh example built in method see very common use system dot out dot print line print ln 
print ln it is one of the built in method of java programming language what is this system system is class name class is a blueprint or a template it uh, it, it has a, a group of classes and interfaces that we will discuss later here system system is class name out out is object print ln is method class object method this is for displaying messages on console okay next user defined method names local okay again in built in methods some categories of built in methods categories of built in methods available just uh, i will list out in built in methods chapter we will discuss with examples number methods see in vb script also some built in me methods uh, built in functions uh, string functions io functions math functions next date and time functions etc see number methods character methods next string methods string methods next date and time date and time just a minute date and time methods etc next again user defined two categories a uh, method with returning value next uh, method without returning value see method with uh, returning value next method with uh, me me method without without returning value value see this is a brief introduction about uh, methods brief introduction understand the concept uh, gagan methods what are methods in uh, java programming yeah methods are uh, we can say procedures and functions hmm procedures are functions see i didn't uh, explain the definition follow the definition see a java method is a collection of c a java method is a collection of statements or you can say instructions that are grouped together see that are that are grouped together Uh, to perform an operation to perform an operation okay uh, tell me again uh, basically in java programming we have two types of methods what are the two types of methods two types of methods in java programming yeah uh, build in methods built in methods built in you are predefined ha uh. and predefined method ha uh, no no built in are predefined same category built in and you as and user defined method yes and user defined methods next uh, gursimran 
in built in methods we have some categories of built in methods uh, list out the categories categories of built in methods sir uh, number methods ah uh, number methods corrector methods corrector methods corrector methods string methods string methods date and time methods etc date and time and methods okay rt user defined methods also two types what are the two types a method with returning the value and method without returning the value good next regular expressions see regular expressions see it is also global it is also global topic you can find regular expressions in most of the programming languages and uh, scripting languages it is a formula for matching patterns see it is a formula for matching patterns patterns see matching don't confuse in computer terminology uh, two different terms mapping matching mapping four types one to one one to many many to many many to one matching two types constant matching pattern matching constant matching means matching with uh, fixed value suppose i have one document in my computer called india dot doc if i know the exact value i can retrieve this document using that fixed value suppose this is constant matching matching with a fixed value constant matching next pattern matching pattern matching <clears throat> suppose i have a document in my computer called india dot doc but i forgot the exact name but i know document name starts with i then we can use formulas i star dot like then it locates i a series if available in our computer i b series like that you can locate i n series this is pattern matching see it is a formula for matching patterns see java provides java dot util regex package for pattern matching you just remember this one in practical chapter we use this one see <coughs> java provides see uh, regular expressions for search operations search operations see it is a formula for matching patterns a regular expression defines search pa search pattern for strings see a regular expression a regular expression defines search pattern search pattern for strings search pattern for strings see java java provides on built in package java dot util dot regex package package for pattern matching for pattern matching with regular expressions okay see observe uh arthi you have some knowledge on java na uh can you differentiate these terms what is this java 
here three Java util regex. What is this Java? Uh, I think it's a building building function. <laughs> no. A building method. No, no, no. Method. Sorry. What is method syntax? Object dot method. Method end position. Yeah, 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 yeah. Object dot method. His Java. Java is a project name. Util is package. Regex is class. Class. In this regex class, you can find supporting methods for regular expressions. Anyhow, that we will discuss in practical chapter. Next. Next. File and IO input output operations. File and IO operations. Say IO operations. What are the important IO operations? Gagan tell me. IO operations. What are the important input and output operations? What are the important IO operations? See reading using input devices. You can read input from input devices, uh, keyboard and mouse. Next, displaying, displaying output, displaying output on the console. See, uh, generally, any programming language displays output on console, computer screen. If you want to export that, that data to external files or databases, that is different concept. See, displaying output on the console. Whenever you execute program, it shows output on console. Now, for that you have to use a, a print method also. Okay, next. Reading and writing text files. Text files means flat files. Files uh, which don't have any format. Example notepad. See, using some, uh, see Java has a rich set of libraries. Using library files using built-in library files you can perform file and IO operations see IO package is there java.io IO package is there that is library predefined a library by importing that library file you can perform IO operations okay text files drives like file system operations using IO. Next, if you want to work with Excel files, work with Excel files. Uh, see, this is also using library file, predefined library file by importing the library file that we will discuss in practical chapter. I will show here only theoretical approach. Uh, example using JXL built-in package or library next uh, working with databases see Java with flat files Java with Excel files, Java with database files. Using SQL, this is a package name. SQL package or you can say built-in library. 
See, this is about file and I/O operations. Uh, tell me, Gursendran, uh, how to work with uh, Excel files using Java language? How to work with uh, Excel files? Uh, means creating Excel, reading data from Excel, writing to Excel, comparing Excel sheets, etc. operations. How to work with Excel files using Java? Gagan. Uh, with the with inbuilt JXL package? Ah uh, yes. Uh, with the predefined uh, JXL package by importing that library files, uh, you can use uh, you can work with the Excel. Okay. Next, uh, one, uh, one of the important topic in computer programming, exception handling. Exception handling. Say, in computer programming, errors two types. Basically, errors two types. What are the two types of errors? Syntax errors, system grammar errors, syntax errors and runtime errors. Syntax errors, you can rectify the syntax errors before execution. Anyhow, it will show if you use any IDE, uh, Eclipse net beans like IDE, definitely you can locate syntax errors. But runtime errors difficult. See what is what are runtime errors? Resource response. Suppose you are fetching data from a database or Excel. Your your programming logic is correct, but resource is not responding. Excel sheet is not responding. That is not programming error. Runtime error. Unexpected. Okay. Suppose you are fetching it, uh, fetching test data from a database, one to hundred records. Yesterday you executed the program, executed properly, but today somebody deleted eighty to hundred records. After seventy-nine records, it will show error. That is unexpected. What is exception in computer programming? Exception is an abnormal condition. See, in computer. Programming exception is an abnormal abnormal condition. See an ex an exception is an event that occurs during the execution. Exception handling in Java is one of the powerful mechanism to handle runtime errors uh, so that normal flow of the application can be maintained see important topic the exception handling the exception handling in java exception handling in Java one of the powerful mechanism powerful mechanism <coughs> to handle runtime errors to handle runtime errors okay see up to this uh, exception handling java basics see we segregated core java into two categories 
first one java basics in this java basics comments data types variables modifiers operators conditional and loop called flow control statements arrays methods next regular expressions file and io operations exception handling next b java object oriented programming object oriented concepts object oriented concepts uh, can you tell me arthi what are the uh, four fundamentals of object oriented programming what are the four fundamentals of object oriented programming i i think one of them is a cla class one of them is a class class is not ob class is uh, one of the member okay maybe polymorphism ah, yes polymorphism ah uh, polymorphism In inheritance yes inheritance um uh, Sorry, I cannot remember any others. Polymorphism. Ah, encapsulation and abstraction. See, see, Java is object-oriented programming language. What is object-oriented programming? It supports uh, abstraction, encapsulation, polymorphism, and uh, inheritance see <clears throat> java supports inheritance i'll explain what is inheritance abstraction next encapsulation and polymorphism these are four fundamental concepts of object oriented programming see uh, before discussing object oriented concepts on general topic class object method see three terms what is class what is class uh, tell me gagan what is class in object oriented programming what is class in object oriented programming class do you hear this term class gursimran if you don't have so uh, is it an uh, abstract pardon abstract data type abstract data type what i am asking what is class in object oriented programming what is class so class is a template ah yes uh, yes Ca class is a template or blueprint from which objects are created okay. yeah. see simple definition class is a template or blueprint blueprint from which objects are created from which objects are created 
say class is logical entity not physical entity logical entity a class group of objects uh, that has common properties it is a logical entity next object what is object tell me arti what is object in computer programming general object uh, suppose table also object pen also object chair also object what is object it is an entity that has states and behaviors see real time entity it is an entity uh, that has states states nothing but you can say properties see in uh, vb script java script we use properties term properties attributes of the object attributes of the objects properties describes properties describe the object states and behaviors behaviors states and behaviors see it is an entity that has states or properties and behaviors see i will show one small example suppose a uh, dog is object dog suppose dog is object dog is an object uh, tell me uh, some states of dog object and behaviors behaviors of dog object uh, arti states of dog objects uh, dog object states or properties maybe sitting or standing or something sitting uh, standing what color that is uh, uh, that is different uh, here properties properties uh, suppose color this color white color height next weight etc next behaviors jumping barking etc suppose pen is object gursimran pen is object ah next tell me the states and uh, behaviors of pen object just one state one behavior state of pen so color color except the size ah uh, size etc ah uh, next uh, behaviors so writing yes see writing is behavior okay see it is an object it is an entity that has states or properties and behaviors uh, use states term states and behaviors next method another term method method means an operation on object an operation on object an operation on object i will show uh, on a software object example suppose object is <coughs> object is link object is link 
नेक्स्ट स्टेट स्टेट आर प्रॉपर्टी कैन यू टेल मी मोहम्मद कमल स्टेट आर प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ लिंक ऑब्जेक्ट नेम इज देर ना लिंक नेम नेम इज सपोज वैल्यू वैल्यू ऑफ द स्टेट सपोज लिंक नेम न्यूस दिस इज वैल्यू नेक्स्ट ऑपरेशन ऑन दिस ऑब्जेक्ट मेथड आर ऑपरेशन गुर सिमरान कैन यू गिवन मेथड ऑफ मेथड आर ऑपरेशन ऑन लिंक ऑब्जेक्ट इन वेब एनविरामेंट मेथड आर ऑपरेशन बोथ आर सिनानियम्स टेक्निकल टर्म मेथड बिजनेस टर्म ऑपरेशन हाँ कैन यू गिवन मेथड एग्जांपल ऑन लिंक ऑब्जेक्ट सी ऑब्जेक्ट लिंक स्टेट आर प्रॉपर्टी नेम वैल्यू न्यूज दट लिंक नेम इज न्यूज लिंक आर जी मेल आर यूट्यूब एक्सेट्रा मेथड आर ऑपरेशन गगन फॉर द क्लिक 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 इज मेथड आर ऑपरेशन ओके सो आई थिंक आल ऑफ यू फेमिलियर विथ क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट method okay now come to uh, oops concepts what is oops what is oops arthi object oriented continue arthi object oriented programming object oriented programming object oriented programming ah yes is there na okay object oriented programming system okay <laughs> see here i am taking inheritance inheritance what is inheritance any idea arthi what is inheritance kamal i don't remember right now okay cool no problem see inheritance is a mechanism in which one object acquires all the properties and behaviors or states and behaviors of parent object just a cloning parent object say inheritance inheritance is a mechanism in which in which one object acquires on object acquires just a minute on object acquires all the properties nothing but states and behaviors see inheritance is a mechanism in which one object acquires all the properties and behaviors of parent object parent object next 
uh, using inheritance we can create classes uh, that are built upon existing classes when we in inherit from any existing class we can reuse methods and fields from parent class and we can add new methods and fields also advantage see when we inherit from an existing class existing class we can reuse methods and fields we can reuse methods and fields from parent class from parent class uh, in addition uh, we can add new methods and fields also and we can add new methods and fields also uh, tell me gagan what is inheritance in object oriented programming inheritance what is inheritance the object acquires the properties ah uh, object acquires properties and uh, behaviors ah uh, all the properties of behaviors of parent object see in this inheritance one object acquires all the properties and behaviors of parent object you no need to suppose if you want to reuse you no need to create again Uh, you can acquire all the properties and behaviors of parent object ah uh, what is the advantage of inheritance kamal what is the advantage yeah so we can uh, we we can uh, use we can methods, reuse and methods and fields from parent and class from parent class and we can add new methods yes and we can add new methods and fields also we can yeah. reuse uh, uh, methods and uh fields from parent class and we can add some more methods and fields also okay anyhow in practical chapter i will show uh example now just definition level see java supports three types of inheritance see java supports three types of inheritance one is single inheritance single single inheritance next multi level multi level inheritance next hierarchical hierarchical see hierarchical in inheritance okay but java doesn't support java doesn't support multiple inheritance Uh, due to diamond problem see note what is uh, multiple inheritance i will show in practical see java java doesn't support multiple inheritance due to diamond problem 
ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ మెథడ్ ఓవర్ లోడింగ్ అండ్ ఓవర్ రైడింగ్ మెథడ్ ఓవర్ లోడింగ్ ఓవర్ లోడింగ్ అండ్ ఓవర్ రైడింగ్ మెథడ్ ఓవర్ లోడింగ్ అండ్ ఓవర్ రైడింగ్ ఫస్ట్ మెథడ్ ఓవర్ లోడింగ్ అబ్జర్వ్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో ఆబ్జెక్ట్ ఓరియంటెడ్ కాన్సెప్ట్ మెథడ్ ఓవర్ లోడింగ్ సే ఇఫ్ ఏ క్లాస్ హ్యావింగ్ మల్టిపుల్ మెథడ్స్ విత్ సేమ్ నేమ్ బట్ డిఫరెంట్ పారామీటర్స్ ఈజ్ నోన్ యాజ్ మెథడ్ ఓవర్ లోడింగ్ సి అబ్జర్వ్ if a class if a class having if a class having multiple methods with same name with same name but different parameters but different parameters or data types is known as method overriding is known as method overloading so i will show one small example then you can get clarity say <coughs> same name there are two ways to overload the methods see two ways uh, to overload methods or uh, one is by changing number of arguments or parameters by changing number of arguments or you can say parameters suppose in our class add method is there see two or three add methods are there how to call based on your requirement suppose first add add of int a int b see whenever you type dot after object then it will show available methods on that object you can select add int a int b int c observe kamal two methods in in this class method name same but two are different na two are different or not yes sir if you call first add yes if you call two are first different add, it adds two numbers if you call second add it adds yeah. three numbers see yes. this concept is called method overloading okay yeah. next another another example another way see by changing data types by changing data types data types suppose add method add int a integer a 
int b next same name method name same add char a parameters also same two parameters now observe again method name same parameters also uh, same size two parameters but different data types na yeah data types are different different if we use first add method it adds two numbers two integers if you use second add method <coughs> it adds two characters it concatenate two characters okay this is about method overloading tell me uh, arthi what is method overloading overloading uh, having a multiple methods with the same name but a different uh, parameter or data types yes see having multiple methods with the same name don't forget that one having multiple methods with the same name uh, but uh, different parameters or different data types in a class that is called method overloading next one more concept is there method overriding see method overriding method overriding see method overriding uh, in object oriented programming overriding means to override the functionality of an existing method to override the functionality of an existing method see simple to override to override the functionality to override the functionality of an existing method existing method say method overriding provides a specific implementation of a method that is already by its super class suppose you are calling one method from super class uh, in your class also same name same method name available you can implement that one it is used for what is the advantage of method overriding it is used for runtime polymorphism what is polymorphism i will explain in the next topic see you uh, find the advantage of uh, uh, method overriding see method overriding to override the functionality of an existing method existing method okay it is used for runtime polymorphism see it is used for a runtime polymorphism runtime it is used for runtime polymorphism next polymorphism single word poly polymorphism polymorphism what is polymorphism say actually this uh, polymorphism derived from two greek words poly and morphs say it derived from it derived from two greek words two greek words one is poly poly means 
many next another another word marps 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 means farms <coughs> or you can say ways see then you can say polymorphism means many farms are many ways see polymorphism means many farms or you can say ways now say it is a concept using which we can perform <coughs> an action in different ways say it is a concept by which it is a concept by which we can perform an action in different ways it is a concept by which we can perform an action in different ways simple see suppose one action is there you performed that action next find another way see different ways suppose in general uh, scenarios also suppose you want to go to another city see different possibilities by flight by train on foot different possibilities It is a concept by which we can perform an action in different ways see we have two types of polymorphism how to achieve that we will discuss in practical chapters Uh, any idea rt we have two types of polymorphism two types of i'm not sure maybe when we run or compile the program i'm yes, not sure something compile time like polymorphism and run time polymorphism see we have two types of polymorphism in java one is compile time compile time polymorphism another is a run time polymorphism tell me gagan what is polymorphism what is polymorphism a uh, polymorphism like uh, to perform action in some different ways ah uh, perform perform an action in different ways different forms okay we have two types of polymorphism in java what are the two types of polymorphism a uh, run time a uh, first compile time before a uh, compile, uh, compile, compile time, time and run time and run time okay next uh, uh one of the uh, fundamental of oops abstraction 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 say it is a process of hiding the implementation details and showing functionality to the user say simple it is a process of it is a process of hiding the implementation details hiding the implementation implementation details and showing functionality to the user you can you can view, you can show uh, functionality and showing 
functionality uh, to the user see hiding implementation details and showing functionality to the user another way it shows important things to the user and hides internal details see in another way you can say it shows important details it shows important things important things to the user and hides internal details internal details so i will show one small example then you can get clarity uh, example general example sending sending an email sending an email you just type the email and send but you don't uh, you don't know internal process of the email delivery you just uh, see just uh, type the email and send but you don't know internal process of the email delivery you don't know internal process process of email delivery okay say <clears throat> ab uh, abstraction focus on what the object does abstraction focuses on what the object does instead of how it does uh, in two ways we can achieve abstraction so concentrate in two ways in two ways we can achieve abstraction uh, one is in classes another is interface abstract class abstract class see you can make class as abstract here possibility 0 to 100 percent 0 to 100 percent observe <coughs> you can make 10 percent class uh, you can make 10 percent class abstract remaining general otherwise 20 percent abstract remaining general otherwise 100 percent abstract next uh, interfaces interfaces our web driver also interface uh, uh, interfaces 100% abstract 100% abstract uh, tell me gagan what is abstraction and how to achieve it what is abstraction and how to achieve it yeah abstraction is a process to hide uh, uh, internal details and showing functionality to the user how to achieve it in two ways we can achieve abstraction na one is abstract class another is interface 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 100% abstract but class is 0 to 100% you can use 30% class as abstract or 70% or 100% or 0 0 means uh, no abstraction 
ओके नेक्स्ट वन मोर थिंग एन कैप्सुलेशन पुट म्यूट एन कैप्सुलेशन वाट इज एन कैप्सुलेशन एनी ऐडिया आरती See, encapsulation is one of the four fundamentals of Hoop's concepts. Other three are inheritance, polymorphism, and abstraction. Ah, uh, encapsulation is a process of wrap. Ah, uh, wrapping the code. I'm not sure code, what this other one is. Wrapping the code and data together into single unit. See, simple encapsulation. It is a process of it is a process of wrapping wrapping the code code and the data instructions and the data into a single unit into a single unit code and data wrapping code and data into single unit is called encapsulation uh, one general example capsule see medical terminology capsule see capsule mixed of several medicines medicines Uh, what is the advantage in computer programming it provides the control over the data what is the advantage of encapsulation in computer programming it provides it provides the control over the data control over the data say suppose we want to value of id field uh, greater than 100 only we want to input id field greater than 100 only see it has to accept id values greater than 100 only you can write uh, you can write logic inside the method uh, tell me uh, tell me uh, Gersimran, what is encapsulation and what is the advantage? What is encapsulation? So it's a process of wrapping code and data together in a single unit. Good. What is the advantage in computer programming? So it provides the full control over the data. Over the data. For example, Uh, suppose uh, we want to input ID greater than hundred only. You can write the logic inside. Okay. Any confusion? No, sir. Okay, cool. Next general term. Java packages. Java packages. Arti, what is Java package? Okay, before Java package, I want to explain yes, what is. I'm not sure. Just a minute. Before Java package, I want to explain interfaces in Java. Interfaces in Java. What is interface? an interface is a collection of abstract methods all abstract methods see just a minute an interface is a collection of is a collection of abstract methods
and one more thing it is not a class say it is not a class writing interface is similar to writing a class say coding same say writing interface is similar is similar to writing a class but both are different what is interface <coughs> is a collection of abstract methods incomplete methods next java packages say observe the java programming architecture hierarchy first java project java project under java project java project under java project java packages under java packages classes next interfaces and sub packages say <coughs> what is package what is package <coughs> a java package is a group of similar type of classes interfaces and sub packages why we use packages in order to store and organize classes and interfaces we create packages see what is package what is package in java see it is a it is a group of similar classes related it is a group of similar classes next interfaces etc what is the advantage of package arthi what is the advantage of package stored and organized uh, data is used to store and organize organize classes interfaces and sub packages see package is used to see package is used to store and organize classes interfaces and sub packages see we have two types of packages in java see two types two types of packages packages libraries otherwise you can say libraries we have two types of packages in java one is built in packages built in packages uh, can you give one or two examples for built in package arthi already have some java knowledge na built in packages in java but i don't remember anything sir so it's been okay, more cool, than 10 years cool cool io package java.io it provides input and output operations 
నెక్స్ట్ యుటిల్ ప్యాకేజ్ నెక్స్ట్ జేఎక్స్ఎల్ ప్యాకేజ్ ఏఎస్కిఎల్ ఎక్సెట్రా నెక్స్ట్ యూజర్ డిఫైన్డ్ యూజర్ డిఫైన్డ్ ప్యాకేజెస్ సి యూజర్ డిఫైన్డ్ ప్యాకేజ్ నేమ్స్ లోకల్ యూ కెన్ యూజ్ యువర్ ఓన్ నేమ్స్ సి దిస్ ఎ బ్రీఫ్ ఇంట్రడక్షన్ అబౌట్ జావా ఫార్ సెలీనియం దిస్ ఇస్ ఓన్లీ సమ్మరీ బిఫోర్ బ్రేక్ జస్ట్ టెల్ మీ గగన్ ప్యాకేజెస్ వాట్ ఈస్ జావా ప్యాకేజ్ and the types of java packages what is java package gagan okay next gurusimran what is java package and types of java packages so it's a group of similar types of classes interface and sub packages yes group of similar similar type of classes interfaces and sub packages ah uh, we have two types of packages in java what are they built in packages and user defined packages good okay next uh, last question uh, for the first session uh, tell me mohammad kamal uh, here java for selenium we segregated into two categories core java only we segregated into two categories one is java basics another is java object oriented programming see nearly 12 concepts required in java basics can you list out those 12 12 topics java comments డేటా టైప్స్ కంటిన్యూ టూ డేటా ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ ఫర్గెట్ అబౌట్ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ ఓన్లీ జావా కాన్సెప్ట్స్ ఓన్లీ జావా కాన్సెప్ట్స్ సి జస్ట్ ఎ మినిట్ సి సమ్మర్ ఈస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ జావా ఫార్ సెలీనియం java for selenium uh, only core java required see core java only required a segregated core java into two categories a is java basics b <coughs> java object oriented programming object oriented concepts basics object oriented concepts ah uh, first here uh, what are the basics 12 basics uh, concepts we discussed ah uh, comments ah uh, sir comments data types data types uh, conditional st uh, first, statements loop statements sequence variables right next constants next operators ah uh, conditional just a minute conditional statements loop statements ah today we discussed arrays regular expressions regular expressions uh before that uh, methods ah uh, continue arthi 
फाइल एंड आईओ ऑपरेशन नेक्स्ट एक्सेप्शनल हैंडलिंग हाँ एक्सेप्शन हैंडलिंग एक्सेप्शन हैंडलिंग ओके नेक्स्ट गुरसिमरा आबजेक्ट ओरियंटेड का इनहेरीटे सी क्लास इंटरफे पैकेज दोर्म्स ओनली दिस्ज का इनहेरीटे मेथड ओवरलोडिंग एंड ओवर राइडिंग ओके जस्ट मैं फोर फंडमेंटल इनहेरीटे ओके abstraction ah polymorphism encapsulation good polymorphism next encapsulation these four are fundamentals of oops next we discussed method overloading and uh, overriding concept next a uh, uh, class object package those are terms only not concepts In java package is with it okay java package uh, that is not uh, separate concept uh, that is uh, it is only structure of java programming pa package nothing but group of uh, Uh, collection of classes and interfaces na yes sir mm, see these are the required things for our selenium okay you take 10 minutes break after the break important chapter uh, just uh, heading configure see before uh, practical first uh, configuring configure or you can say java java <coughs> environment setup java environment setup <coughs> next java program structure program structure or you can say java syntax okay you take uh, 10 minutes break after the break we will continue say next chapter java environment setup and uh, java program structure see first uh, java environment setup then java program structure syntax and ru syntax rules and standards see java environment setup you first download java runtime environment or java development kit java development kit uh, having that jre and compilation tools java etc you download jdk see download java you download this one jdk it includes java runtime environment jre and other tools see very simple who is the vendor of java who is the vendor of java mohammed kamal uh, oracle sun uh, first developed by sun micro systems sun, sun mic uh, now right it is now, oracle... now it is subsidiary of oracle corporation now it is subsidiary of oracle corporation see just uh, 
you launch the browser and just type java download java download here see second site oracle site is there now you click this one second link oracle site here <coughs> download java platform jdk see click this uh, image link uh, here accept the license ag agreement it is free it is free software uh, next uh, here choose uh, her windows uh, 32 bit or 64 bit see mine is uh, uh, 32 bit see this one click this link 175.71 MB see it will download Java exec executable file JDK executable file for Windows you save the file already I downloaded see see observe on desktop See 175 MB. Uh, tell me, uh, Gursimran, how to download Java software? So you can open the web browser. Uh, 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 launch download. the browser and type Java download. Java download. Next, to go to this uh, Java yes, SE downloads. Uh, Oracle site, Oracle Corporation site. Here, so you need to click the first one, the uh, Java one, Java platform, JDK, Java Development <laughs> Kit. It includes JRE, Java Runtime Environment. Next, it will accept the license. Sir. Uh, I accept license agreement. Next, uh, uh, choose software forever. Uh, operating environment say I selected this one then it uh, downloads executable file JDK executable file direct file okay say on desktop click on this executable file just a minute yes next Next, see Java installing. Just wait. Okay. <coughs> see it is choosing this folder. If you don't want this folder, you can change. Okay, select the default only. Next, see installing. See Java setup progress. In just a minute. close successfully installed close now verify verify the java setup go to command line uh, command prompt uh, you type java um, java c java compiler uh, here we have to set the path path environment variable see see we installed in observe why setting environment variable suppose I installed Java in uh, C program files Java JDK bin this is the directory 
but I want to execute Java program from desktop. You have, for that, you have to set the path. Path. Uh, how to set it? See, my computer. Select my computer. Uh, what is the next step? First step, down, download Java and install. This is first step. Next step, oh, Gagan, what is the next step? Set environment variable. See, path variable, path. Path variable. Uh, how to set it? See, select my computer and right click properties here advanced system settings this is Windows 7 environment variables ah, here user variables to system variables select system variable here click new ah, variable name path uh, you provide the path of uh, JDK bin directory. Provide the path. Just a minute. See from scratch. Provide the path. Open my computer. See program files. Java. JDK. Bin. Uh, select this path. Uh, here enter the path. Variable value. Okay. 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 Next check. Just a minute. Command prompt. Type Java. Providing now information. Hello, Mahmoud Kamal. It is providing details now. Yes, sir. Suppose Java yes. compiler. See, it's providing details. Ah, just uh, just a minute. First, I will remove that one. Guide me uh, just a minute. Properties. <coughs> you can remove variables also. Environment variables. Path. Delete. <coughs> See. Uh, Navigation. How to set? Ah, tell me the navigation, Arthi. First, select my, computer. my computer. Select my computer. Select my computer. Ah, click and, and, and then program right file. And uh, right click. Right click. Ah, next. Uh, program file, the folder name. Uh, first C drive. Yeah, sorry, C drive, folder name, uh, a program file. Uh, C drive, next. Program files. Then, um, then go to the advanced. Uh, Java, uh, sorry, uh, program files, uh, go to, actually, this is not correct. Uh, not C drive. Properties. Properties. See properties. Observe. See. Uh, my computer properties. Next. See. This is for Windows. Ed 
see almost all same for other also hmm. properties next advanced system uh, settings go to the advanced is advanced system settings advanced system settings <coughs> just a minute Ah, uh, next select environment variables. Environment, environment variables. See environment variables. Next, see just a minute. Environment variables. Ah, uh, next cell. Uh, select new in system variables see select new in see user variables or system variables you select system variables <coughs> next click new Ah, next continue Mahamad Kamal. Um, uh, right path. Ah, enter variable name path. Okay. See. Yeah. Uh, enter variable name as path. Next. Uh, and then enter uh, 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 copy the bean directory JDK yes. bin bean JDK directory bin bean directory path uh, directory path JDK bin directory path enter JDK bin directory path in value field value field see observe value field where is the value field located uh, where is that uh, path my uh, computers C language uh, C drive sorry see computer C language uh, sorry C drive C drive program files next Java JDK bin uh, Gagan tell me uh, tell me the path once again computer C drive a C drive uh, program files program files Java Java in JDK JDK bin bin see you take this path see path next provide the enter the path value click OK 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 close see bin directory path <coughs> next okay 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 <coughs> <coughs> this is about to set uh, environment variable how to set next uh, Verify. Verify. Uh, tell me, uh, Guru Simran, verify the Java installation. How to verify? Sir, open command prompt. Uh, go, go to, to command prompt. Otherwise, launch. <coughs> launch command prompt. 
type java uh, next type java uh, then it provides details okay verification over see first uh, we completed three steps uh, kamal what are the three steps download and install java one step second step yeah set environment uh, set variable environment path. variable path variable next third step verify java environment third setup. step verify java whether java is installed ah see observe up to now three steps completed see concentrate first step first step download java see jdk java development kit download java software and install second step set environment variable in order to access in order to access java from any directory in c drive See, generally we install softwares in C drive. See, set environment variable. What variable? What is the variable name? Path variable. Next, third step. Verify. Verify the java environment setup setup using java or java compiler java commands okay three steps over okay next See in computer programming, three uh, for writing and executing three steps. See, okay, environment setup over those three setups over uh, uh, those uh, three steps over these steps for writing and executing program. Three steps. what are the three steps three steps for writing and executing java programs can you tell me arthi three steps for writing and executing java programs first you write the classes or like uh, write the program write Code? program in any editor editor required na yeah editor required yeah. editor required uh, here uh, you can uh, use notepad as editor notepad see first step write java program in notepad <coughs> this notepad is editor okay second step you 
you copy and paste uh, in the java uh, that um, mm -hmm. the what, eclipse, what do you paste. call compile compile the program see writing compiling executing in case of programming in <coughs> in case of scripting only two steps writing and and executing observe in computer programming three steps writing compiling and executing in scripting uh, for example vb script parallel script python script etc two steps only writing next uh, executing <coughs> while execution they automatically compile and run <coughs> compile the program next run the program run or you can say execute <coughs> see compilation time uh, it provides a class file it is intermediary output execution time output compilation time you can get class file these class files can be executed on any operating environment suppose you create java program in windows environment compile the program you copy that class files to linux environment and you can execute getting this point mohammed kamal platform independent yes sir but don't copy source code as it is isn't it <coughs> what we yeah. have to copy intermediary output only class file class files okay see three steps any confusion are they no sir get it thank you i will you. show a small program then i will explain java programming structure first small program don't concentrate on this syntax later i will explain see launch notepad <coughs> notepad first to launch notepad first to class suppose public it is access modifier don't concentrate on syntax public <coughs> class name uh, class keyword class class name Uh, first letter should be upper case public class sample public class sample open curly braces close curly braces <coughs> next invoke main method public static void main main method java program execution starts from main method it is it is mandatory statement for every java program next string arguments next open curly braces for every block of code uh, every block of code enclosed with curly braces okay next write one statement system dot out dot print print ln next hello java ah uh, semicolon every 
normal statement should end with semicolon. Just save as Java extension. See, program file name should match with class name. Class name, program file name should be same. May, uh, public class name and program name. Save as, uh, what is the class name? Sample dot extension Java. Suppose I am saving on desktop. Save. Close the editor. See, sample dot Java. Launch command line, <coughs> uh, command prompt. Here, compile the program first. Uh, Java, Java C, Java compiler. Next, program name. Sample dot Java. Sample dot Java not found. Okay. Directory. Just a minute. CD. What is the directory? Desktop. File not available. Compiler available for all directories. Ah, here. Same. Java C. Sample. Dot. Java extension. See. Error. Cannot find symbol. Public static void main. String. String. Ah, string spell mistake. Spell, spell. Ah, spell mistake. Just a minute. Edit. Save. Okay, compiled. It creates a Java class file. Can I observe that cl Java class file created now? See sample dot class. Sample dot class. Can you view this one? Gersimran. See 416 sample dot yes, class. Yes sir. Okay. Yes sir. Okay. Okay. Execute that one. Java. Just a file name. Sample. What is the output? Uh, uh, what is the output Kamal? It displayed output on console now. Hello, sir. Hello, hello Java. Java. Ah, just a minute. Yeah, hello, Java. Ah, just a minute. You modify that value, uh, message, edit. Suppose, hello, <coughs> hello, Java world. Save. Just a minute. Hello, Java world. Now execute Java sample. It is showing old output only. See, whenever you modify the code, again you need to compile. See, Java C sample dot Java. Compiled. Uh, now run the, run the program. Java, Java command. Just file name, no extension, sample. Now it is showing Java hello world na? Yes sir. See, just a minute. Just a minute. 
to copy this one. Sample program. See steps, write Java program in notepad, compile the program. How to compile? See. Command prompt. Next. A file directory. Change to file directory. Suppose Java program file available on desktop. Program file directory. Program file directory. Next. Ah, tell me. Tell me Gagan. Writing program first step, second compile program. Ah. Uh, enter compile program uh, command, Java. Ah, here type uh, Java C, Java compiler. Next uh, program name. Program name dot java extension java is extension uh, next uh, java keys java command for Compilation. Okay. Next it creates a class file. Next run the, run the program uh, Gersen uh, Simran. How to run the program? Type Ah. Type Java. Java. Uh, pro program name. And program name only. No extension. No extension. No extension. Space program name. Then it provides output. It provides output on the console okay see try to understand this program uh, sample program okay I will provide a, a complete Java program structure here just a note to one rule, syntax rule we followed. Tell me that syntax rule, Arti. Syntax rule we followed. C drive. Ah. Two syntax rules. First one. Class name. C. First letter, first letter of, first letter of the class name. Uh, tell me Arthi, first letter of the uh, class name. Uppercase na? Kamal. Uh, upper uppercase uh, sample 
अपर केस वैल्यू फर्स्ट लेटर ऑफ द क्लास ने शुड बी अपर केस नेक्स्ट वन मोर सिंटैक्स रूल वी फॉलोड व्हाट इज द सिंटैक्स रूल क्लास नेम क्लास नेम नेम शुड बी एंड प्रोग्राम प्रोग्राम फाइल नेम हाँ टेल मी कमल क्लास नेम एंड प्रोग्राम फाइल नेम फाइल नेम हैज टू बी द सेम हाँ ओके सेम ओके Uh, here <coughs> we invoked main method. Anyhow, I will explain programming structure. See, Java. Program structure. Uh, before that, uh, you install. Eclipse, see. Download no no need to install, just the uh, direct file. Download Eclipse software. Download Eclipse software. Ah, uh, see. You no need to install. You can directly launch. See, you type Eclipse, Eclipse download. See, Eclipse dot org. It is also open source. Just a minute. Eclipse download. It is taking more time. What is Eclipse? Gagan, have any idea what is Eclipse? Uh, to identify the objects. Hmm. Identify object is different. Here, here. Uh, forget about testing. We are uh, learning Java programming only. Later we will uh, mix programming concepts with testing concepts. Here no testing. See Eclipse download. Just a minute. Some state not responding. Okay. Any idea? Tell me, Arthi, what is Eclipse? It is a development tool ID. Ah yes. See dow uh, download Eclipse software. No need to install. You can directly launch Eclipse editor. See it provides a zip file. You first unzip that folder. Then uh, what is Eclipse? What is Eclipse? Uh, it has IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. See what is e Eclipse? It is a platform or it is a tool. See. It is a platform or tool to create and execute to create. See earlier we used notepad. 
notepad doesn't have any IDE only plain no syntax it it doesn't show any syntax errors and it doesn't provide any context help you type and compile you need to identify the errors and rectify but IDE not like that it is a platform to create and execute Java programs ah, not only Java programs other programs also it is a platform to create and execute Java programs Perl Python uh, Ruby and PHP etc. See it is a platform it is a platform to create and execute Java programs and uh, Perl, Python, Ruby, PHP programs also. Now tell me uh, Gagan what is Eclipse? What is Eclipse IDE? It is open source? Yeah it is uh, open source. It is a platform to create and execute Java programs. Uh, not only Java programs. You can use uh, yeah, like, uh, Eclipse uh, other, language. other languages also. Na? Yeah, Perl, Python, uh, Perl, uh, Python, Ruby, Ruby yeah. PHP, etc. But our usage is uh, creating and executing Java programs. Okay, you no need to install this one. Download Eclipse software and unzip. After that, just uh, see. Suppose I downloaded that software, unzipped. See, place down. Uh, where I placed it? Uh, desktop. Observe Eclipse unzipped version. You open this Eclipse. Uh, here one <coughs> file is there now. It's symbol Eclipse uh, executable file. See, just a minute. Open. Eclipse main folder next click Eclipse file uh, it launches Eclipse IDE integrated development environment see uh, observe uh, Gursimran click on this uh, file Eclipse file see Eclipse launching IDE launching you no need to install Eclipse Uh, one more question Kamal we are launching a Eclipse IDE from desktop but Java Java bin directory available in C program files uh, user uh, C program files Java JDK something now observe yes sir. where it is uh, located C drive program files java jdk bin directory but we are launching uh, eclipse uh, from desktop how it uh, uh, communicate with java how it communicates with java we already set environment variable now we sir we need to put uh, no not yeah. Set up over. See we already we set environment we set environment variable path variable na. It is enough. Yes. Uh, see desktop also belongs to C drive na. Yes. Okay. See we already set environment variable path variable. 
so eclipse can communicate with java software see eclipse see here first step in java programming first step create create project first step create project java project just a minute create java project already we discussed the structure observe where see java project java packages one or more next under java packages classes interfaces etc see first create java project how observe file new java pro new project you can select project uh, just a minute you select java project file new java project uh, here enter project name suppose selenium finish uh, first step over next step next step new create package under this selenium src c second step create create a package Uh, under package tell me rt under package suppose first to create package package name uh, suppose saturday ah uh, under this package we can create uh, tell me arti under this package we can create we can create class na create class or interface see see file new first we created project then package under package class ah see first class name sample program see if we use two words combined uh, you you can use capital letter for second word also otherwise you can use single word also but no spaces sample program otherwise just a sample see public okay finish just a minute just a minute <coughs> see selenium is project it created as a uh, source folder src under selenium one of the package is saturday under saturday package sample java 
see eclipse automatically provided that extension what is the advantage of using eclipse just a minute open a cl uh, click it launches okay this is a platform to create and execute java programs okay what is the advantage tell me gagan what is the advantage of using eclipse you can find hmm the classes are in in the build in eclipse see it provides editor next help for syntax help for syntax errors next context help uh, auto compilation you no need to compile auto compilation and uh, debugging find the advantages of eclipse editor uh, mahmud kamal tell me what is the advantage earlier we used notepad this time eclipse what is the advantage We, we can uh, write program and we can uh, we can run the program from Eclipse. Okay. What are the writing you can write in a Notepad also? What is the advantage of using uh, Eclipse? Uh, tell me, Arti. It provides the editor help for syntax error. Ah, uh, syntax error and, and it provides context, context help error. also. Context yeah, and auto, Suppose and auto type, compilation. Just a minute. Syntax uh, error help different. It shows red mark. You can rectify the problems. And context help. Suppose if you type object name dot, then it provides a list of methods applicable on that object. You can select your required method. That is context help na. See. Yes, sir. Uh, using Eclipse editor, we can easily write and execute Java programs. Uh, auto compilation facility. Next. Uh, context help. Help for identifying errors. Help for identifying errors. And debugging Java programs. Uh, using step by step execution etc got the point gagan any confusion no sir okay cool uh, now i want to uh, this one uh, increase the font size i want to increase the font size of uh, this editor uh, go to window window menu it has id preferences uh, here general appearance appearance colors and fonts colors and fonts In just a minute Java just a minute oh it is not editing colors and fonts
just a minute general edit default where it is see java editor text font edit default suppose i want 18 okay uh tell me rt uh, how to uh, edit font and color uh, how to enter the window window menu of eclipse the window menu preferences preferences ah uh, click on that okay general appearance general colors and appearance. fonts colors and fonts and yes, then uh, ja here uh, you have to select java java editor text font uh, edit the edit default. default and set and apply okay okay see first package name package name what is the first statement package name see see simultaneously i will explain java program structure concentrate i will provide detailed explanation see java program structure or you can say java syntax first statement package declaration statement package declaration statement package declaration statement example c this one package declaration statement see first statement in java program it defines a namespace in which related class are stored see already we discussed what is the advantage of package package is used to store and organize organize the classes based on functionality see package is used to store package is used to store and organize classes interfaces etc based on functionality so that we can avoid naming conflicts functionality and it must be first in our java program see it must be first statement first in our java program next uh, can you tell me arti you have some knowledge na see it can't be appeared in anywhere of the program first statement what is the first statement package declaration statement uh, next optional 
import import statements what is import any any idea uh, gursimran import statement see here one or more statements say import statements import statements are kept after the package statement after the package statement any idea kamal purpose of imp uh, import statements one or more suppose if you want to work with excel files excel library required na yeah you need to import sure. that one suppose if you want to work with uh, uh, databases sql sql library required na predefined say uh, we can import built in and user defined packages using import keyword say we can import built in predefined built in and user defined suppose in our project i created one package now i am in another package second package i want some uh, methods from first package i can import that package also user defined package also see we can import built in and user defined packages packages nothing but libraries okay na any confusion aarti follow concentrate sir ah uh, say second second one import import space ah uh, suppose one of the built in java dot see it is providing context help context help java dot lang language dot suppose management just a minute java dot i o dot console okay we just imported uh, is never used after utilizing that one it will remove that yellow symbol yellow symbol only suggestion caution red symbol syntax error uh, observe the statement <coughs> example ah uh, here import what is import import is a keyword uh, to import to import built in or user defined packages okay next what is this java io console see semicolon every statement should end with every normal statement should end with semicolon that is java syntax every block of code enclosed with the curly braces that is java syntax rule now try to identify what is this java gagan what is this java
class class ah uh, what is io package class package what is the hierarchy package is superior class is superior package is superior package is superior see java is project io is package next console console is console is a class class in io package console is a class in io package getting i want console class under io package under java project i want console class methods i want to use console class methods in my user defined class getting getting uh, kamal yes sir ah uh, suppose i want to i want to import all classes from that uh, io package not only console all classes i want all classes from io package then how to write say import java dot io io dot star semicolon observe gagan ah uh, what will happen observe the statement it loads or imports ah uh, all classes from io package word all classes from io package all classes from io package say here you can use multiple multiple statements also multiple import statements based on your requirement suppose import dot import dot just a minute not import syntax error java dot lang dot what is the problem it is not providing context help ah uh. say as per these three statements first statement console class from io package third statement means uh, last import statement character class from lang package okay na three steps understood the three steps what are the first three steps in java program gursamir uh, gursimran Uh, you tell me arti is the package declaration statement first, first. statement uh, package declaration statement it should be the first line in java the program sec second one the second import import the statements statements we can import 
built in and I have said we can import built in, and user in define both and user defined and user defined. packages or particular classes from any package. Next third one class declaration statement. See third one class declaration. Observe. Uh, where is that editor? Class declaration. This is class declaration. Third one. Class declaration statement. Example. Class declaration statement. Uh, <coughs> what is this uh, public? What is this public, Kamal? Is uh, is this uh, access specifier? Access modifier. Uh, public what? means it is for all. Anybody can access this class. What is this class keyword? Class keyword used to declare classes. One class at a time. See. Public. Public is access modifier. Next. Arthi, continue. Class keyword is Class keyword. Declaring the class. Uh, to declare. To declare a class. Next sample. What is sample? Is the name of the name of the class. Mm -hmm. Name of the class. Okay, we will meet tomorrow, not completed, incomplete, tomorrow we will continue. Any queries, Girsinran?